Hello, my name is Carrie Ann Ings and this is Sat TV Technology Update. In this update, we're looking at Galileo, Europe's 5 billion euro global satellite navigation system, which, when fully deployed in 2013 14, will consist of 30 satellites and associated ground infrastructure. The Galileo programme has been structured according to two main phases in orbit validation and full operational capability. Currently, Testing is continuing on the platform as the programme moves towards building and launching the first four Galileo satellites. The reduced constellation of four satellites is the minimum number required to guarantee the provision of exact positioning and timing at the test locations. The proto-flight and flight model satellites will be integrated and tested at Thales Alenia Space in Rome and they will be launched in pairs by Soyuz launchers from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. The first launch is scheduled for late 2010 and the second for early 2011. Recently, a third ground station for Galileo was commissioned inside the Guiana Space Centre. The site, which was made available by France's CNES, will play an essential role in the setting up of the system, since it will accommodate the most comprehensive of the ground segment stations. The Kourou station will consist of a telemetry, tracking and command station to monitor and control the constellation satellites, a sensor station for acquisition of the satellite navigation signals and two uplink stations for transmission of navigation and integrity messages to the satellites. The inauguration of the Kourou site marks an important stage in the in-orbit validation phase of the Galileo programme, developed by ESA in cooperation with the European Commission. In all, the Galileo ground segment for the in-orbit validation phase will comprise 18 sensor stations, five uplink stations, two telemetry tracking and command stations and two Galileo control centres. The control centres will be situated at Ficino in Italy and Oberpfaffenhofen in Germany. The data gathered by the sensor stations will be continuously transmitted to the GCCs where they will be processed by mission control in order to determine the navigation and integrity messages to be sent back to the satellites via the uplink stations. The Galileo system's capability to directly inform its users of the integrity level of its signal represents a major advance compared to other satellite navigation systems. The five levels of service offered by the system will start at open access free-to-air for use by the mass market with positioning down to one metre, a high-accuracy encrypted commercial service, safety of life navigation, an encrypted military government service and search and rescue. According to ESA, Independent surveys and market forecasting indicate that the expected value of the additional business in receivers, applications and services and the additional revenues for the space industry will amount to €90 billion Euros between 2010 and 2027. And when European independence in this economically critical field is factored in, the project is both politically and commercially important for the European Union. Thank you for watching.